Some things you never forget how to do, like riding bikes or shooting baskets or blowing bubbles. Bubble gum was our first chance of living on life's edge. One pop in the wrong pigtail and pow. But it gave us status. Anyone who ever tried to trade three Vinegar Ben Mizell bubble gum cards for one Willie Mays knows what I mean. The kid who could blow the biggest bubble in town, well, he was king. Bubble gum blowing. Brett Nichols was just another face in the crowd until one day he bent over and started blowing. When Brett Nichols blows, people listen. Brett blew his way into the Guinness Book of World Records, a 17-inch bubble. It was sweet recognition. Joe Heron? For years, Brett's talent had, of necessity, gone unnoticed. Brett Nichols? Here. To practice, he had to hide behind tall girls with lots of hair. Okay, you got that? Now, nearly everyone wants to challenge him. <laughs> Being champ has its price. Brett, let me gum. Oh, get out of here. Brett set his world record two years ago with the first bubble he ever blew in competition. He has successfully defended his crown despite countless disruptions. But last spring, Someone broke Brett's bubble. Brett read that a girl named Susan Montgomery had set a new world record, 19 and 3 quarters inches. He set out to top that mark, but it hasn't been easy. On Blinky's Fun Club in Denver, I had the, I had the calipers that you measure the bubbles with right in front of me, and he was so taken by my bubble, he refused to measure it. He was just standing there staring at me. And I mean, I had at least a 20 inch bubble going. I mean, I could not see a thing. Everybody was pink. And he refused to measure it. I could have stomped on his little red nose, I mean. I understand you set the record with a little bit of a handicap. You were wearing braces. Oh, some people might consider that a drawback. Um, but when you really think about it, the braces have nothing to do with it. The only thing that matters is the lips. A canker sore would hurt me more than braces. Yeah. <laughs> How would you go about blowing a proper bubble? Once you get it going, you know, after you've gotten the bubble about two or three breaths, that's when you start to take it easy. You, uh, you tilt your head a little bit, you breathe slowly, and um, the tilting of the head has two advantages. One, so it doesn't catch on your nose or your chin, and two, so that when it pops, if you've got the bubble big enough, it will cave in upon itself. How do you prepare mentally? I don't think, period. <laughs> <laughs> if I think, I mean, you know, it's the old saying, don't think, you weaken the team. I just, <laughs> I chew the gum up. I don't think to myself, I think just, you know, okay, do it. Now that you're 16 and you're starting to date, does bubble blowing get in the way? It's helped in some cases. I mean, it has really, girls who I've, you know, never seen before or talked to will come up to, hey, aren't you the kid who blows bubbles? You know, <laughs> they're handing me the opening line. How can I resist? <laughs> I bet. Will Brett continue to chase after Susan's record? Will Brett chase Susan? Or will Brett just chase? <laughs> For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Marietta, Georgia.